what are the most successful agencies doing that you've learned um, versus the others? Because there's, I mean, there's what, hundreds of thousands of insurance agencies in the country. And you've worked with, well, at least tens of thousands by now, which is well, great. You, just like you. I mean, we influence and we, they listen to our podcasts and videos or whatever. So what are they doing? Everything they're doing is structure. It's all about structure. And structure falls in two categories, okay? You're either going to have people structure or you're going to have process structure. Yeah. So some agencies will hire a bunch of people and they get enough people together. They're going to get a nucleus of people that will make the agency better. Yes. And then some people are process structured, which is I'm going to put processes in place and then I'll put people in those processes. I'm the, I'm the kind I'm process structured. My processes mm -hmm. have to be stronger than my people. OK, because I can always wow. find people to work my processes. But if I build wow. everything on my people without having processes, then as soon as that person leaves, my processes go to hell. We've seen agencies yeah. where one person left and the agency basically became nothing because mm. Sarah did everything. Joe did everything. Yes. Susie was my girl, you know, and now all of a sudden Susie got hired away and now the agency goes to hell in a handbasket. Yes. I don't want that. I want my processes to be stronger than my people. And that's my mantra I live by. My processes have to be stronger than my people. If my yes. processes are strong, I can always find people to fit in my process. And that's why the U.S. military is the best military in the world today, because we can take anybody from the fields of Iowa or the beaches of California or the, you know, the backwoods of wherever and bring them into our process, into our structure and form them into the best fighting force in the world. Mm. So my mentality was, why can't I do that with an insurance agency? Yes. Yes. That a lot of people do. You've probably seen it. A lot of people do it backwards. They look for people to improve their process. Like, man, if I get him or her, yep. they're going to fix everything that's wrong with my company. Right. Right. I mean, and I'm not saying it's backwards. I don't want to call it backwards. I just call it a different route, but it's okay. a route that's not sustainable long term because yeah. at some point that person's going to leave. That person's going to change. That person's going to do something. You know, they may get married. They may get pregnant. Yeah. They may get sick. They may do who knows. You know, you know what I mean? But True. now now you're stuck because you don't have process yes. because Judy yes. did everything. And I can always tell when I'm interviewing an agent and I go, hey. How do you do this in your agency? Hey, Barbara, come here for a second. You know, how do you do this in your agency? Hey, Dave, come in for a second. Okay. <laughs> and even if you don't know how to do it, you should be able to say, well, hold on. Let me go to my manual. Let me go to my job aid. Let me pull up our process. You know, I don't do it. I don't do it. But hell, I can show you where we where, where it's written down. Yeah. So if you can't do that for me, then you literally have no grip on your, your business. Mm. Takes a lot of guesswork out. Yeah, that's good. There's a lot of I've noticed it. Um, there's a, so many six figure earners that are business owners that run an agency that literally do everything in their company. Mm -hmm. And it, have you seen uh, those that can really get out of the way and have the right processes and add the right people, even have an assistant, even, you know, even start to have a, a, other people selling other than them. They're doing mm -hmm. all the service, all the sales, et cetera, et cetera, that that's the time they can really scale. Have, have you noticed that around the country as well? Oh, yeah. They can't scale without it because at some point you're going to run out of you, <laughs> right? Yeah, it goes back you're to gonna gonna run your time. You. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. And so when that happens, when you run out of time, when you run out of ability, when you run out of, you know, just the fact that you can do everything, the only way you can continue to grow is to replicate you, right? To bring you in. And another issue that agents have is they're so busy trying to be the head of the organization and they want the shingle to have their name or whatever that they don't hire people that can move their agency. They hire people who are their glorified secretaries. Mm. Right. And so they've got four people working with them, but those four people literally can't do anything on their own because everything has to flow through the agency. Everything has to flow through the agent, right? Whoever that agent is. Oh, no, no, I got to check that. And I got to look at this and I got to look. No, I don't want that. Yeah. I want to be able to go in and spot check what you're doing and then be able to train, you know, and 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 do all those things that will make you better. But I want to give you that ability to operate independent of me, but within my processes. Yes. Yes. 
w- w- with those agencies, what's, what's the best agencies that you've seen for you to help? Like, what are you really looking for out there outside of just gratitude? Well, when you say help, there are two different, I have two different legs here. Yep. So I have agencies I invest in, and then I have agencies I mentor. In order for me to invest in an agency at this point, you got to have 10 million in premium or up. Okay. 10 million in premium or up because you don't make enough money with less than 10 million to really bring me in as an investor. Mm. Right. Cause every quarter I want my dividend check. Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. so you, you just, you're, you're busy trying to pay the bills and trying to do this. And then I'm like, okay, where's my 15%, you know, after we zero out this quarter. So you, you, you don't make enough money for me to invest in if you have less than 10 million in premium. But if you just need help, hell, you can come to inspirenation.org, right? I didn't name my company Williams Investment or, or something, something consultant. Yeah. It's called inspireanation.org because I, I feel like, like that. that's my personality is to inspire people, not just motivate people. Motivation is temporary. Yes. Inspiration comes from within. So my job is to change you internally and inspire you to move forward in what you do. So they can go to inspirenation.org and just look at our resources and what we have out there. And we can help pretty much anybody that wants help. Yeah. Right now, if you want an excuse for failure, we can't help you. And there are a lot of agents and you know this, Cody, they want an excuse to say, I tried everything and nothing worked. Yes. Yeah. Okay? We're not that we're not that organization. That's good. And and do you have a, like a can you think of like a case study of like, OK, let me give someone an example of uh, an agency that here was what it looked like before we got involved, well, investing or mentoring either way. Mm-hmm. And here's where they are today based on that. We can't take full credit, but hey, we did play a role. I, I didn't get permission to use any agent's name. OK. Okay, so maybe on our next podcast, if you ask me that question, I'll have a list and say, hey, here's what we we do. But here's what I'll tell you. Go out to our Google review page. That's the easiest way to find out. Go out and just search Inspire Nation Business Mentoring or search, um, you know, go out on LinkedIn or wherever and look at the reviews. Because in those reviews, they actually put their agency name and they put what they do and they put who they are and all those kind of things. So that's probably the easiest way to find out the agencies that we're working with without me breaking our non-disclosure, non, you know, all that kind of stuff. Sure. Um, but I mean, we've taken agencies from literally a one person shop to 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 employees, you know, 50 employees. I've taken agencies from a million dollars in premium to $30 million in premium. You, you, you know what I mean? And again, if you're, you're like, well, yeah, this guy's just talking trash. Go out to our Google reviews, go out on LinkedIn and, you know, look at our reviews on LinkedIn and look at the name of the agencies that you see there. And mm-hmm. you're going to see some of the big boys in our industry. That's awesome. So. That, that, that's some life changing math. That's some life changing numbers. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's and so, and you, but it's easy. Here's the thing, Cody, going, going back to kids, I'm going to go back to kids. I can tell by the time a child is four, five, six years old, if they're going to be good at a sport, right? Mm. And the reason why is because they just get it. So think about a child that plays soccer. Okay. Some kids, they're fumbling, they're bumbling, they're stumbling, they're tripping, they're falling. And then some kids are moving smooth and they're getting it and they're out thinking what the coach is telling them because they're already in position. They can see, oh, that ball is over there and that kid's gonna kick it that way. Let me move over here and get that right. Some people just have that knack. You know what I mean? They have it for business, they have it for sports, they have it for singing, they have it for dancing, they have it for whatever that they do. So I can literally tell by being in an agency for 10 minutes, whether that agency has the people the tools and the mentality to be successful. And I'm sure you can too. You you know what I mean? It's just something that we know because it's natural to us and it's, it's easy for us. We literally can walk in and go, this was, I can, yeah, I can do something with this agency Yes. or I can't do something with this agency. So I'll give you an example. I have an agency right now that I'm working with. The agent is a control freak, an absolute control freak, right? But the people around him are amazing. I mean, they are amazing. And so the first thing I had to tell the agent was, look, I need you to go on vacation for a couple of weeks. 
right? You, you get the hell out the way so that I can make those amazing people more independent of you. I can bring out the 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 mentality. I can bring out that movement because they can see it, but you're the one that's stopping them. So mm -hmm. I always say I can pretty much grow any agency if I can get the agent the hell out the way for a few minutes and let their people shine or let their people show that they're not there, that, that you have the wrong people. Wow. That's, 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 that's phenomenal. I, I was wondering, he's like, how's he going to play this? What's he going to do? Dude, go on vacation for two weeks. Get the heck out of here, man. That's, yeah. that's, that's phenomenal advice. I mean, that's, that's great. Because usually uh, it's the agent that's holding their own agency back, to be honest. Yes. It's the agent. Yes. Yes. I mean, I, it's, I can remember so many times, dude, I was literally holding everything back. I'm, you know, the, the train's moving and I'm in the back holding on to, to, you know, to the caboose and I'm just getting drugged. <laughs> you know, yep. if you love this video, you know, I got another one that you're going to love. I got a video just to your right, right here. Click on that. It's going to be amazing. You're going to love it. And I'll see you in there. You, you guys also talk about like, if you're not spending a thousand bucks a week in leads and maybe your philosophy is a tad different. I just heard this recently um, from somebody else um, that you're part-time. 